sannan ku jama'a domin fahimtar rayuwa da addini ina so ku dinka kallo Digem TV akan YouTube ku bi shi ku so shi don fahimta da kuma kayartarwa za ku ji dadi kun yi haka a tura ki dibara a Digem TV ne lo YouTube kine le uziyama in kine wani elu mafia inda ayanala mafia mburi ba imara mbu yoburu ya ikile wene no gide na ngozi eku de bia siko ye nye nyowa fwa awon ore ori itage toni misi olo oninu tosi nkoni logbon ema awo digem tv lori youtube ema si bagbe lati bawa feron re lati ekpe pe lwa awon ore nyi ati lati fi awon oro imoye yin ranse ese pupo adupe hello everyone i want to welcome you to digem tv youtube channel please i want you to subscribe to this channel for edifying content messages so lifting gospel messages like share and subscribe and as you do so may god bless your soul in jesus name thank you for subscribing to this channel Good morning, madam. Yes. Uh, it's my friend that described your place for me, sir. When I told her my problem. And uh, what is that? Yes, sir. It's my daughter. I had a strange dream about her. Hmm. One day, I saw her selling banana in a market square. The last one that got me terrified was that I saw her in the forest fixing wires on trees. With her bare hands. Ah. Wow. Wire on the trees. Ah. With bare hands. Ah. Madam, it's very simple. The dreams you had, they are the works of the destiny changers. They want to change the good destiny of your daughter to that of a mad person. Eh? Mad? Ah. What are this day? What are this day? The destiny changers. Ha. Ah. Who are they? Where are they from? What do they want, Prophet? Madam, the destiny changers are the enemies of progress. Oh. They are found in every family. As per what they want, they want to make your child, your daughter, to run mad. Ha! Oh. Prophet, please, what will I do now? <laughs> we will me. fight. Can you fight? I'm talking about spiritual fight. We will have to fight off the enemies and those working against the destiny of your child. Do you have the picture of your daughter here? Yes, yes, yes. M my friend already told me to so come with it. Oh, good. Yes. Listen. Wow. Ah! Madam, you have a very beautiful daughter here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hmm. The Lord said, this person I am seeing inside this picture is a medical doctor tomorrow. And that is only if you are ready to fight up the enemies working against our destiny. Yes, yes, sir. That is what I want her to become. Really? Yes, sir. You want her to become a medical doctor? Yes, sir. Wow, that's good. 
Uh, are you ready for the fight, madam? Yes, sir. Are you really, really ready? Yes, prophet. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh. Take. So come with those items in the next two days. Come with all those things and the amount I wrote there. These are the things that we need to kickstart the fight against the enemies of your daughter. Okay, sir. So, meet me in the church office in the next two days. Okay, Prophet. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you, madam. Amen. Ah. Mathematics A1, English B3, Physics B3, Chemistry C4, Civic Education A1, Biology C6, Computer Science A1. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. What should be doing? What members should be doing? What makes the church healthy? All in pooping matters. Hey, what do you want to Eh? Oluwa se o e mo gbe oga baba Oluwa e se ah Oluwa se o e Oluwa se o ah mo gbe oga baba eh Oluwa e se ah you made this good results thank you my girl i'm very proud of you this means i have nothing to be afraid of concerning your UTME ha don't worry, mommy. I promise to do where you need to. Thank you, my daughter. It's medicine I want you to study. No, mommy. It's computer technology I want. Do you uh -huh. know I have phobia for blood and wounds. Hmm. It's true. It's true. Hmm. The Lord said, this person I am seeing inside this picture, is a medical doctor tomorrow and that is only if you are ready to fight up the enemies working against our destiny ah, no it's medicine you will study eh when you get admitted into the medical school you will get used to all this uh, phobia for blood and wound when you get there you will get used to it mommy but i don't have the interest and capacity for medicine besides i hate seeing blood uh, one who, you know, made these good grades in SSE has the capacity to study medicine. As for the interest, my dear, when you get admitted into the medical school, you will develop interest over time. Mommy, it's computer technology I want. Ah, but dear, why, why computer technology? I want to help my country develop a software that can be used to fight against insecurity. Fight insecurity? What is your business with insecurity? Are you the president or the governor that you are talking about insecurity? That is the mistake many people are making too. They think only the president and governor should do everything. Individuals that are blessed can help in providing food, security, employment also mommy allow me to do what i want. enough it's medicine you are going to study or no other one
Will your university offer her admission for medicine? These results are excellent. Besides, she's from this state, which is an added advantage for her. Part of the major reasons state universities like us are created is to assist our citizens. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, uh, the Dean of Clinical Affairs, Professor Mrs. Adewale, is my personal friend. Wow. A woman? Can a woman add, you know, such a big and important faculty? <laughs> ah, my dear sister, why did you ask that question? I don't know a woman can add all those big, big professors in a university like this. <laughs> you amuse me, you know. It's only in homes that women cannot add men. But in the academic environment, you know, there's no gender superiority or seniority at all. Uh, uh, everybody's equal, provided they have the requisite qualification. Let me even shock you. Even a woman can head the whole university. I mean, a woman can be the vice chancellor of the whole university. And we have had cases like that in the past. Really? Yes. In that case, my own daughter will not only be a medical doctor, she will even become a vice chancellor of a university because I will give her every support she needs to get to the top. That's good. That's good. I, I know why you are saying that. Uh, please, kindly give her all the support she needs. Look, I have to meet one or two people concerning this admission. Right. Uh, it's very important. Eh? Thank you very much, my brother. The pleasure is mine. I appreciate it. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Madame, thank you. You sounded so cold. What is it? Madame, I don't like what mommy is doing at all. What? Do you know that mommy went to get admission for me to study medicine? Even when I made it clear to her that it's computer tech I wanted to study. Aren't you happy you were given admission to study medicine? Something many people want. But I don't want it. Gift. When we see in the campus, we discuss more. Mommy told me about it and I feel I should congratulate you. It's okay, brother. Me. Gift. What's happening? Deji, stop all this. I have told you that only my body is in this department. My spirit belongs elsewhere. I don't, I don't understand you. Many people love to come to this department. It, but it just seems different. What's Deji, it? do you remember you once told me how your dad and mom put heads together with you to earn admission into this university? Okay, <laughs> what about it? It's painful to lose one's father at a tender age. It is now clear to me that truly a child who has a good father can go further in life and destiny. Hmm. That, that's deep. It is whatever a mother wants that we must do. Yeah. One who, you know, made these good grades. In SSE, has the capacity to study medicine. As for the interest, my dear, when you get admitted into the medical school, you will develop interest over time. My elder brother is in the same university studying law. As 
against his preferred choice, which is mass communication. Our mother said he must read law. Every parent I know put hands together with their children to work things together. Parents need to ask their children what their interest is and what they have capacity for. Well, I I'm sorry about that. If your dad were to be alive, it would have been a different story. But however, I will plead to you to please concentrate. Since you are here already, and always remember that there is someone who cares for you. Who one cares for me? No, Jesus does. And I, I, I do too. Jesus will fight this with you if you allow him. No. If he truly cares for me, he should persuade my mom to stop forcing me to do what I don't like. Whenever I see blood, I feel like the ground should open and swallow me. I, I, I can't cope with medicine. Give I can't. Give it, give it. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Um, well, give it. I. Can I speak to your mom? No. Uh, okay. I can I at least pray with you. No. What, what, what can I do to help you? Just leave me alone. <laughs> we sent for me. Ah. Doctor. My dear sister, it is gift too. What happened to Gift? Someone who knows her as my niece, you know, called me and said that she has been rushed to the hospital. What happened to her? Gift used drugs. Had the drugs. She Jesus! Used drugs. She started with baby. Ha! Huh. Mugbe? Huh. Where did she get her drug from? We wonder. In fact, the school is campaigning seriously against the use of illicit drugs. Huh. And they wonder how they get hold of these drugs. I mean, it is, the rate is becoming alarming. Uh, that's okay. Please, let's, let's be on our way. My daughter. She's fine. We've examined her critically. She used too much of the drug. Hey. And I think she wanted to commit suicide. Ah! Suicide! suicide. Why? Why? This is the note we found in her pocket. Ah. I'm sorry it has to end this way. Ha! Ah. The semester results were released this morning. And I discovered that I failed woefully. <laughs> I could not be at the share in my guilt of failure. I did my best in my academics, but but my best seems poor in this department. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Me. I'm sorry. Ha! Look, man. I'm there for. Ah! Doctor, please. Can I see my daughter? Okay. Gift uh, must know that. Yes, please. you will see her. Let me see her. But please hold on. We are trying to stabilize her. Please just give us some time. We will see. I promise. Okay. Let me see her. No, 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 no. Until and let Doctor do his work. Ah! Doctor do his work. So please, 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 please. Thank you. It is oh, the you test I need to run. Thank you. Please, thank you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Madam, 
So you are asking me if I actually heard from God. The day I told you that your daughter will become a medical doctor. What happened to you? Yes, sir. I, I am so sorry, sir. It's just that my daughter has this serious phobia for blood. And she hates anything medical. Yes, sir. Did God actually tell you to tell me that my daughter will become a medical doctor? <laughs> oh, you are doubting the call of God upon my life? You are doubting the call of God upon my ministry? Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, let me ask you a question too. What question, sir? What happened to Kora, Data and Abiram? Who doubted the call of God in the life of Moses and the Bible? Yes, sir. I don't know. Mm, you don't know. If you must know, the ground opened its mouth and swallowed them alive. Ah! The blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus? Blood of Jesus doesn't work on disbelief. What do you think happened to that high chief in the book of 2 Kings chapter 7? Who doubted the prophecy made by prophet Elisha about the abundance that will be restored back to Samaria? Yes, sir. I don't know, sir. Mm -hmm. I am not a Bible reader. Okay, if you must know, the IT died on the day that the prophecy became fulfilled. He never tasted out of the abundance. Ha! Oh, sir, what are you insinuating, sir? You can figure that out yourself. <sighs> Excuse me, some people are still listening for me. It was that pastor. It was that pastor that said, God told him that my daughter would become a medical doctor. Ah! He had done for. Ah! He misled me. He misled me. Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon gifts. My daughter must not die. <laughs> Have mercy on gifts, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me. Will you come back to life? 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 To where she belonged. Exodus 20 13 says, Thou shalt not kill. And now that she has killed herself, she is guilty of a fire. You want to drag to hell a girl on which the Almighty God has placed a great value and mission? She has not even yielded a call to fulfill the plan of the Almighty. Yes, you want to drag her to hell? What wickedness? What do you mean by that? When has doing my job become a wickedness to you? It is my job to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And people with God's potential and call upon their life are my major targets. I see. That was why you played a game of manipulation on them all? You manipulated the mother. You manipulated their so-called prophets to mislead them. You manipulated the girl to commit suicide so that you can win her to hellfire. But I'm bold to tell you that you have failed on this one. Because God Almighty is wiser than you. Feel? I don't feel. The Almighty Holy says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Is she the anointed or the prophets of God that I should not touch? She's not even born again. Yes, she's not. Then tell me, tell me why I should not have her in hellfire. 
Look at her forehead. still at work. Therefore, you cannot have her yet because mercy prevails over judgment. Therefore, I command you to release her now. <laughs> God is still very much interested in you. Besides, your friend Deji and others have been praying for mercy for you. And for mercy's sake, the Almighty cannot take away his eyes. Therefore, return to the earth and surrender your life to his only begotten Son and fulfill the mandate of God for your life. Just L.